Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's me, Loading Artist. For that, without the hat. <laughs> I'm talking to you with a very advanced microphone. Straight from my brain. Oh dear. Oh, 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 oh. The thing is, the, the, <laughs> here I am. I was just joking. That, that was just, that's just the cat. That's Paste. Thing is, Pace was sitting very adorable, staring right into the camera, and then in the last second, turns around just to, and oh dear God, <laughs> don't show the butthole, you dirty ass cat. It's not one of those streams. We're not even the right category for that. <laughs> category. <laughs> All right. Cool. This has been a a butthole unboxing stream. Um. Thank you for joining so far. Anyway, why are you showing off your ass so much? Okay. And then we also have the other one. Who is much more uh, polite, respectable, happy, and doesn't want to be on stream. Anyway, it's not a cat stream. It's an, un it's an unboxing stream. So um, let's get to unboxing. I was wondering, how do I do this? How do I do this more interesting lace? Because last time we were on the ground for some reason. I think it's because the cats were there, but then the cats left and we were still on the ground. So I was like, why are we on the ground? So I was thinking I would just show the cats for a little bit before they get annoyed being in the room just to prove that they're still alive and healthy. High five. Nice. And um, let them out so they can be fed. Lunch. Unless they already had lunch, I'm not sure. And uh, we'll do some more unboxing. Yes. Yeah. Look. Look. See. Copy's ready. Copy one's out. Don't you? Hm? Don't you? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see here. Let's see. Well, I mean, well, well, while Pace is grooming, I can uh, get the boxes ready that I'll be unpacking today. Um, oh, it's a big one. Ah, well, maybe I'll do the small one first. Yeah, let's do the small one first. Small one's a lot more manageable. Yeah, small, small one first, I think, is a good uh, intro to this unbox. Pace is very interested. Oh, how, how am I going to do this? Wait. Is it better? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Nostalgia smells good, huh? What could be in this box? Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Easy with the merchandise. There. Okay. All right. And uh, what to do here? What to do? Is it like this? Is this? This is interesting. Interesting angle. But I think the microphone needs to be lower so you can hear me better. How's that? Wait. Hold on. Let's get the cable a bit longer. How's this? Let's turn off the fan. How's this? How's this for... This is an interesting... Better mic? Interesting angle? Would have been perfect if the cat stayed, though. Would have been perfect if they stayed in frame. All right. Wait. Okay, well, let's just, let's just begin. So, <clears throat> I have a box here, and there's a bunch of stuff in it, and uh, let's see what's, what, what, what it's all about, and we can get tastes uh, in, introspective onto it as well. So what's this first thing, huh? And how does it taste? Tastes good? Alright. Approved. Tastes good. 
Oh, the other cat's standing on the microphone. Out of here. Okay. Oh, you hit your head. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but I think she hit her head on this on this um, chair handle. You're such a dummy. Whatever. First things first. Let's see. It is a uh, paper book made by a piece of orange sellotape and some paper. Uh, there is some text on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it says, Dear Diary, first time I got you. Uh huh. And that's kind of been erased. And what's inside? Oh, it's my first art. Stop eating the box. Eating box. She's, the other cat's not being patient. She wants to get in and open everything. Patience! My first arts. Look at that. Nice. I, it went from a diary to an art book pretty quickly. Yeah, look. The art is from the beginning. Look at this. Scary haunted house. Rip. Gravestones. And then like a nice beach looking thing. Uh, perspective. I'm pretty impressed. Oh, skulls. Very scary. Terrible, terrible uh, graveyard, actually. You're supposed to bury the corpses. This is like a very half-assed graveyard. Just chucking, chucking the corpses down wherever they land. And what's next? Uh, oh, yeah, and everybody's favorite show. Tom and Jerry. I uh, went a bit meta here. Drew Tom and Jerry on the TV. And then I was like, okay, actually, I'll just draw Tom and Jerry as well. Now uh, there's Jerry, I think. There it is. And some broken... Ah, what is, what's that little rascal up to? <laughs> okay, the, the cats... The cats, uh... They definitely went out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let them out. Um... Get out of here. Go, go, go. Get out. Get out of here. Alright. <sighs> okay, so much for that. So anyway, it's just, it's just me now. <clears throat> I knew the cats wouldn't last here very long. Why am I on the ground now? No, 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 no. It doesn't make any sense. Why am I on the ground? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go back on the table. Oh, wait. I'm just gonna go back on the table here because I think the, the acoustics is better, maybe. And then I can sit on a chair, which is nice. And the lighting is better. Yeah, this, is, this makes way more sense. This makes way, 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 way more sense. So let's just do that. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. Echo's better on the desk. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Because I think otherwise, like, the sound from under the table, it's like a big echo chamber. It's like a wooden cave. So anyway, and I'm just going to put on some tunes as well in the background so that I have something. Oh, there was a raid that I missed? Skyru to Twitch. Raided with a party of one. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Skyru, welcome. Thank you very much. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's continue my art book here. Everyone asking for a book. I finally made it. Like 30 years ago. I don't know how long, actually. The Fred Flintstone and then Johnny Quest. I don't think I even watched Johnny Quest. I think I just like the logo. And then here we go. What's next? Cartoon Network. Uh, which I could not be bothered finishing. <laughs> Too much shading. And then over here we got the uh, Scooby Doo. A g -g -g ghost? I, s I see it, Scoob. And I found a clue. And it has clue written on it. So you don't get confused. But yeah, look at that scary ass ghost. And then that's the mystery machine. <laughs> I draw cars just as well as I did. Back then, as I do now. Excellent. Incidentally, have you bought, thought about a new chair? Those mesh chairs are in vogue again. That might be cooler in the summer as well. Oh yeah, I didn't think about a mesh chair being cooler in the summer, as opposed to just looking cool, feeling cool. But this chair is pretty new, I'm not gonna... It's supposed to last me like years and years. I'm not changing chair. <laughs> Only until this chair, like, disintegrates, or get some horrible stain that I can't explain. Then I'll get a new chair. I'll say, hey, Corteggi, finally some good comics. Thank you, Corteggi, yes. 
<laughs> All right, there's more. Some life art. This is uh, on Austrian summer. I think that's my aunt sitting next to a broom and a outdoor sink. Or it looks like a little like some like a like a cowboy or a sombrero wearing person in a sunset. I don't even know what that is. And we have dabbled in biology for a second. <laughs> I drew what I imagine is inside of every bug. Uh, two violins, two guitars actually, and two boxes of poison attached to their mouth. And then the legs are attached to a square. So yeah, I was I was a bit of a bit of a scientist back then. And I was very, I'm, actually, I'm actually surprised by how many pages I filled in this thing. Usually I fill in like two pages with each book I get. There we go. Got some more life art, a nice scenic lake forest perspective, huh? Huh? Pretty impressive for five whatever, I don't even know. Okay, never mind. <laughs> the perspective is kind of reversed at the bottom there. I don't know what kind of crazy ass car I was referencing there, but um Sure, good enough, I think is what I was saying to myself back then. Then we have some, I think this is another Scooby-Doo episode in my head. Yum Yum, Scooby and his snacks. Got a depressed vampire hiding under the table. This was me last week. <laughs> uh, and I don't know what the hell that is. I think that's a sandwich or... I don't know what that is. What are we going over here? Johnny Quest again. Being filmed again. I don't remember watching Johnny Quest, but I just think I like the logo. Oh, and here is my uh, my Lola Bunny uh, personal personal stash here. There we go. Nice. Getting a carrot from a hole. Another one. I think this is more of an Easter Bunny actually, because it's got. A... Oh no, it's basket of carrots. Oh yeah, it's. I think it's a comic. It's two panels. He's got one carrot, and he's got all of them. No copy paste there. I guess, I guess it was better back then. Oh wait, there's a third part. Oh, it is. Uh, I think that's yeah, that's snow because that's a Christmas tree now. And the rabbit has no more carrots to eat and is now going to starve in the winter. Pretty dark, dark ending to that three-panel comic. What do we got over here? We got. Uh, oh, it's a it's like a navy ship, with a bunch of <laughs> fireworks. I think that's what I thought rockets looked like, I guess. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. What's, what, what, else, what else we got here? We got more life art. Um, I did a 8 plus 8 equals window on, on the background. We got a drink that I think you can see the evaporation happening. Again, I was a scientist back then. Describing evaporation. I invented it. And we got Dexter from Dexter's lab. Nice. No more, no more needs to be said there. Hey, Exa Comics, hello, hello. Just in time for showing off, showing off my new, my new art. We got Dee Dee with no arms. That's why she's so sad. And we got this terrifying looking thing. I think this is supposed to be the mask, but I'm not sure. Got Coke, Coke being fed into his mouth. And what is this? Scoob and the gang. What chat Scooby do? You're not supposed to be. What is this called? S water skiing? There's a shark in the water. And what are, what's, on, what's on the other side? Ooh, fancy life art. That's some like Picasso stuff. Picasso's sketchbook. Look at those crazy ass trees. I was looking for shortcuts even back then. <laughs> Your art is Benjamin buttoning. You mean it's getting younger and fresher with each passing day? Well, thank you. Also, then I decided that I was going to design some cars, some some fast cars. That's how you know they're fast because of the flames. Uh, and they all look the same, despite the names changing. I don't know. This is model SG. This is also SG. This is also SG. Then there's S6G. Uh, S71G. I'm not really sure. Where I was going with with those things, and then that's it. That that that's it. That was the first thing in the box. <laughs> Took a long ass time. I don't think the other things are gonna take quite as long. But anyway, that is my first little art book, which started off as a diary. But uh, it quick decided I wasn't gonna be a writer. I was gonna be an artist instead. Anyway, what do we have next? 
clothes. This is my uh, primary school uniform. My little shirt. Little button shirt. Uh, blue and white stripes. It's like a cute little prison. Um, and it's been defaced. Because it was like my last day. So everyone, on your last day, you all like write on each other's shirts and stuff. And, um, and yeah, it's very nice. I remember some of these people. But, uh, yeah, it's like a lot of messages of good luck and, and things like this. Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized, I just realized my alerts are paused. <laughs> and I realized it's because I was going to pause them. And now I've unpaused them. So this dude dumb, thank you for the host. This dude is dumb. There is that raid of one person, thank you. <laughs> Alright, and now let's, let's pause it again. Alright, so, but yeah. Lovely messages of, uh, of good luck and whatever and goodbyes. Uh, this is one over here. Uh, what does it say? You belong in jail. Well, so thanks, Victoria. Much appreciated. And uh, there's another one. Orange one. This one says, see you in jail. By, by Ellie. So <laughs> thank you very much. All righty. But yeah, otherwise, it says a lot of buys and good lucks. Cool. And one person even, is, even says they're going to miss me, so that's cool. Nice. Anyway, that's that shirt. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think before anyone has any ideas, uh, I think uh, I, I didn't, even, didn't even really know those people. But uh, just, a, just another little message. But I think it was just that they, I think they wrote that in all the shirts. And I remember my, my mom was very not impressed when she saw the jail uh, statements on my shirt. She got really mad and was like, oh god. I think that was the first time I was realizing, like, I shouldn't shouldn't share everything with my parents. They just don't understand the humor of the school. That's... This is, this is a joke! Everyone wrote that stuff! Anyway. What do we have next? What's this? It's a map of America. And Canada. Wait, is that Canada? Is that Canada? What? Does it get cut off here? Does Canada get cut off? Oh yeah, Mexico and Hawaii as well. But yeah, um, this was. Oh yes, I think my mom was. This mom, my mom was following my when I went to America. I did like a big trip. This was like seven years ago now, I think. And I think uh, my mom would, because you can see different pen markings, like follow along where I went with each day, until she just kind of stopped bothering. <laughs> Once I reached Durango. She stopped caring, and according to her, and according to this map, I'm still in Durango, so that explains a lot. So anyway, that's that. Nice, nice, nice. What else I got? Oh, here's a little photo. Photo of me here. What none of none of what is cut off? None of what is above Canada? I don't even know what none of what is. Um. Next things. Little photo. A little photo of me in uh, primary school. Um, teaching the kids what's what. I was, I was telling stories from my own storybook. Is this going to focus? Is this going to focus? Eh, close enough. But yeah, look at that. Nice. I had everyone's attention. This is me now. This is basically the exact same thing, except now I'm wearing a hat. And it's all digital. Thanks, COVID. <laughs> Yeah, that is pretty much it. Also, fun fact, the the blonde girl here, I had a crush on her. That one. <laughs> I did. But, eh. Whatever. Didn't even like her anyway. And actually, hold on. You know what? No, fun fact, actually, yeah, that blonde girl, I just remembered, she's the same one that would uh, crush up the drawings of animals I would draw and put into her locker. Because like every break, I'd go to the library and get out a book of animals, and I would draw an animal, and I would put it in a locker, and then she would come to me with the drawing, and she would crush it in front of my face and throw it in the bin. Yeah, that that one's her. <laughs> anyway, um, good photo. Oh, speaking of photos, here's another one. It's of me, only me. I've cut off, I've cut off my other family members, 
I didn't want anyone else in this picture other than me and my cat, Billy. Uh, she was my first cat. Really, really nice. I, I think she was there from the beginning. I was born and that cat was already there, I think. But yeah. Billy lasted a long time. Until she didn't. All right. And what else we got? The sketch pad. Fancy sketch pad. Mada... Mada... De Jelani. I don't know what that is. What have we got in here? Print emails for workshop. <laughs> A good use of this fancy... Uh, Artist textured sketch pad. And what else do we have here? Nothing. That's it. That. Nothing else. <laughs> okay. Good use of this. What else we got? Oh, oh, oh. I'm not even sure if I should show this on stream. This might be a little too private because it actually says private. It is my diary. Look at this. Private, my diary. And this pretty much sums up my entire life back then. Britney Spears and Garfield, and just the desert where I lived. That's it. That is my life back then. Um, oh, on the back, look at this. Nice. Very professional looking. Laminated and everything. But, uh, yeah, before people think I'm like some crazy person that made a crazy, amazing, impressive diary, this is actually a school project as well. Like we had to start a diary as a school project. And you'd like decorate the front and you, the, you know, the lamination. Um, let's see. First page has an about me. Which is, you know, every diary I'm sure has an about me page in the, on the front. Um, let's see here. Uh, let me try and just cover up some doxing stuff. Okay. Here we go. Look at me here. Look at me here. Look at this. About me. First name Gregor, last name Tchaikovsky, age ten and a half years. There I am, wearing that shirt that you saw earlier. Date of birth, collection, Garfield. Favorite food, schnitzel. Favorite animal, cats. And best friend, did I misspelt? Is a, remains a mystery. <laughs> Probably doesn't matter if I show the name or not, but I thought, just in case, didn't want to reveal. Google's what is schnitzel? Dry race girl, you don't know what schnitzel is? Actually, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, it's like a very European thing, Austrian, if I may be so bold. But it's like hammered meat covered in breadcrumbs. And you like fry that. So it's like crisp. It's like, have you ever had like katsu? Something like, you know, something, chicken katsu from J Japan? Very. S no, not katsu. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is katsu. Very similar. Oh, this song I don't like. Don't like that song. Ugh, it's getting warm in here. I like the fact that you grew into your teeth. Yeah, I also had braces. That definitely helped. But, but yeah, man, look at these teeth. Why won't girls like me? <laughs> man, man, I would be, I'd be called Bugs Bunny and everything. Which might be why I have sexual feelings for Lola Bunny. Yeah, because deep down I think I am Bugs Bunny. And it just makes sense. Maybe. Could be that. Um, anyway. First page is is like improving a diary entry. They, they 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 tell you like a blurb that's bad, and and then they want you to make it more dramatic and better. So I pretty much aced that. Ticks, ticks all around. I even added a bit of a, a bit of an illustration there. You know, pretty cool. Look at that. Well done. And pretty cool. What a relatable comic. This could be this could be on the top of Reddit. <laughs> I could totally see that. Oh uh, dear. <clears throat> Hashtag relatable. What's next? Okay, then I actually started my real diary entries. But, um... About four pages, and I got this line thing to make, it, to make sure my text is straight. But I won't I want bore you with the details, mainly because maybe it's a bit too revealing. <laughs> but then again, remember, this, this is a diary that I have to, like, get my teacher's approval of, so it's not really... You're not really gonna get much... Juicy gossip in this thing, but I will maybe share a little bit um, Just to give you a little taste of what What it's like in this thing um, All right, let's, let's do the last two. Let's do the last two ones here <clears throat> 
Hold on, a teacher actually read your diary? No, this is like a school project. They, they made you write a diary and like keep it up and stuff. Yeah, it's like an English class thing. But yeah, okay, I'll, I'll read the last page, the last two entries where I got kind of lazy and made them really small, no illustrations or anything. <clears throat> 2nd of March, Thursday. This Thursday must have been the most boring day I've ever lived. All I did was read Harry Potter and roller skate a bit, but that's all. That actually sounds like a really jam-packed day for me today. <laughs> In a very depressing way. That sounds like a lot. Uh, that would be a full day for me now. Okay, next next post. 3rd March... I, I wrote Thursday across that. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, it's Friday. Boy, was today windy or not? Bit of a riddle in the first sentence. Our slippers, which were standing outside, was blown 3M away. I was roller skating today, but I didn't need to push cause the wind was blowing me away. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh... Oh, I'm just trying to see if there's any other inter as interesting as that was. I want to see if there's any other interesting stuff in here. Uh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell. I'll show you some. I'll, I'll show off the highlights. Here's another one. February tenth, Thursday, two thousand. I really hate my sister. <laughs> she was playing on my piano. I wish there was some way I could get my revenge on her. Maybe I'll dunk her in a bucket full of red ants. Yes, dot, 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 dot. Very good. But now to find lots of ants. Nothing exciting happened today, dot, dot, dot. Yawn. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Um, it's, like a, it's like a jigsaw in the, in the, in the making right there. Uh, let's see. Oh, let me just read it. Let me just read it all of them. Jeez. I'm gonna read them out of order. There's no real... There's no real order to this thing. February 11th, Friday, 2000. We're at the year again, just in case you forgot. It's on the same page as well. <clears throat> I got new Snickers... Scratched. Trainers today. They're Nike. Tick. And they make me go really fast. Parenthesis. Too fast. I almost crashed into my mum's car. Uh, my mom and dad were at a tennis gaga, oh, crossed out, game, parenthesis, boring, I'm glad I didn't come with them or I would be already sleeping. I'm going to play the best computer game, which is called Midtown Madness. Shout out to Midtown Madness. Uh, you can crash into cars and jumping over bridges. Cool! <laughs> Midtown Madness was the shit. I love that game. Um, let's see here. What else? What else do we have? What else do we have? Yeah, okay, how about this? <clears throat> 9th of February, 2000. Alright, first of all, I gotta explain like some musical notes here. This piece of music, parenthesis, made by me on a guitar, is called Mango. I had a slight turbulence of boredom heading my way, and it has seemed to take me crash into boredom land. I had nothing better to do but play on my guitar. Boring. <laughs> I was sick two days ago. I vomited in my mouth, but I swallowed it. Ugh, I didn't feel good. I still do feel a bit dizzy, so be careful. I'm sitting in my room deciding whether I should keep on writing in here or read Harry Potter. Mmm, dot dot dot. I'll read Harry Potter. Bye! <laughs> I would love, I would love to be a fly on the wall when the teacher's reading all these diary entries. I would love it. And also, I got ticks all around, by the way. Ticks, 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 ticks. Look at this. Look at these ticks. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, let's see, let's see. Um... Okay, let's see, what else we got? What else we got? 
Okay, here it is. <clears throat> February 25th, tw Friday 2000. I'm sick. I have got a cold, runny nose, stuffed nose, and a cough. Oh, uh, there's a scribble, and in parentheses I said, sorry about that. I sneezed, and I little, put a little arrow to it. I'm in bed lying down at 6 p.m. I did most, another scribble, another sorry again, of my homework. I'll read a bit of Harry Potter, and then I'll sleep. Good night. Yes, there's a lot of, a lot about Harry Potter in this diary. Basically, Harry Potter uh, fan fiction, meta style. But, uh, but yeah, all right. I think that'll, that, that'll be it for, for the diary entries here. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Harry Potter was the thing back then for the kids. Yeah, I know. That, everyone was reading Harry Potter back then. I think at the time, there were only like three books out. Maybe two, two or three books. The fourth one hadn't come out yet. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Just to give you a little like time frame. All right, and we got another photo of uh, guess who it is? It's me. Me with the biggest Garfield I've ever seen. Look at that. It's a, one of those like mall rides. Pretty damn good Garfield uh, design though. Got to be honest. Like that could look way worse, but that is a good design. Look at the tail. It's awesome. Big Garf. Yes. How old was I when I wrote those diary entries? I would have been about 11, 10, 10. Yeah, I was 10. I was 10, Rishu. Okay, what else we got here? We got Collector's Edition Bioshock Big Daddy statue thing. Uh, covered in dust. This thing is just, I mean, I think I can even see the tears of the children slaves that were, you know, forced to make this thing in a factory somewhere. This is, I think, might have been what made me realize I shouldn't bother buying collector's editions of, of games anymore. Because, like, from a distance, this thing looks kind of cool. It is, it's heavy metal. It's, the whole thing is metal. So you think, oh, that's kind of neat. But then you look up close, and it's like, really kind of basic like the model itself is all right but the painting is really just like slathered on there it just looks kind of cheap put some blue tack on because it's, it doesn't really stand very well because it's so top heavy so uh yeah it's sort of admirable but i realize i don't really like memorabilia stuff like this so i think i stopped buying collector's editions uh after that point um, it's not really my thing. What else we got here? Got a phone. One of my first phones. I actually completely forgot I had this one. This isn't, this isn't my first phone, but it was my second one. And I got a Nokia because I wanted to play Snake. All the cool kids had Nokias back then. I didn't get the cool Nokia, the 3310, but I got this little one. Like rubber buttons. Does it even turn on? Okay, no, this, that would be crazy if it turned on. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, little, look how small these things used to be. I still remember, I still remember how to text in this thing. I still remember, like, what buttons to press for, um, for what letters and what words. Look how much I used it as well. All right. You had one like that, but in pink? Oh, I didn't even realize it came in different colors. 100% that still works if you plug that shit in. I do not doubt you at all, Cole. I'm sure that would work. I don't think I have the charger. Wait a second. Oh my god, it worked. Oh my god, this is the charger. Okay, this is, okay, 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 hold on. Put this to the test. All right. Let's see. Let's see if this old Nokia phone still works. Eh. Oh, we got the battery. Nice. Okay, let's see if I can turn it on. <gasps> There it is! Insert SIM. Damn, oh, okay, I don't have the SIM card anymore. That makes sense. What's with my finger there? Demo. Here we go. Here we go. Basics. Games! More. That's it. Okay, let's go for games. Got Pocket Carom. Settings. Snake Xenzia. Dice games. 
Fuck it. What does it say? Oh yeah, it's Karam. Okay, I thought I thought I, I thought it said cannon, but no, it's Karam. Play some snake. Where did I get in? Oh, oh, I see. Select. Goddamn buttons. There we go. Let's play some snake. It's gonna be hard because it's reversed. Uh, new game. Damn, that's fast. What the? F Wait. Oh my god. This is. This isn't a snake, this is sperm. Look how fast that thing is moving. Jesus Christ, look at these graphics. Fluid, 60 FPS. Eh. Oh my god. This is... Kids are spoiled these days. This is my... This is Fortnite for me back then. This is our Fortnite. Now kids... Now kids have got like... VR experiences with their phone. You just put it in some sort of headset, you got VR in the classroom. And a still board. I had this in Harry Potter. Goddamn kids. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna disconnect this before it explodes. <laughs> I'm not, just not sure if the battery's expanded or not. But damn, look at this. It's already working. I, I've unconnected it, disconnected it, <laughs> and it still works. All right. What else we got? Um. Okay. Well, speaking of childhood games. I also, this is the other thing I had. I had that snake thing, and I had this, which, excuse this disgusting sticker I put, it's like, a, this sticker was from Milky Way or something, trial price, five dirhams, but whatever, it's a Casio calculator, there it is, Whoop. calculator, uh, and you know it's mine because I got my name on it, boom, but yeah, this was also my other toy in the classroom, does it work? Nah. Damn. Okay, well, that's all right. It's not solar powered. But, um, but yeah, I remember I would communicate with my fellow classmates with this thing because it's like all sorts of codes. Like, you didn't have the alphabet, which would have been amazing, but you had like, you know, sin, cause, tan, and log, and A, B, C. You got A and then B over C and stuff. So you could like text a little bit and you pass it on to your friend and they could read it and they could text. What a waste of time. <laughs> I should have been focusing on learning math instead of figuring out how to say this is boring in calculator speak. Uh, and then there's another thing I did where you can like program a whole game in this thing, apparently. Or was it a different calculator? I'm not sure. But what I did was I printed off this giant, it was like five, six pages of just commands. Um, I printed it off on paper. And I spent like a week's worth of math classes just going through each line and just typing it into my calculator to see if I could make uh, the cannon game where you like you angle your cannon and you fire and then... apparently that was possible. Uh, I got through like all five pages and it didn't work. <laughs> I, was, I must have like forgotten something or mistyped. Anyway, that was that. Science calculator. Let's see here. Um, super tax. I played snake on my calculator at school, and my teacher told me once he always thought I was busy doing homework. Did you program it yourself? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you did, super tux. Programming wizard you. And let's see here. What else I got? I got... I got artist thing this is what you need for, to be an artist you gotta have a uh a, a wooden version of yourself that you just ram this metal pole into its backside just to remind you that uh you're constantly fucked <laughs> if you're in the art business <laughs> and i don't know you can angle this thing it's supposed to help you draw i've never really figured out how this helps. I'm not really quite sure. I guess if you're like, oh, I want to draw someone who's running, you could be like, sweet. <laughs> okay, but anyways, um, is that? I, I've also I've never used that thing to actually draw stuff. I I think it's always been on a shelf just to look more artsy. That's it. I imagine to see what the poses might look like in proportion, right? Eh, 
Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Probably. I'm sure it must work. What the hell is this song? Like this. What else I got? Uh. Okay. Oh dear God. This is gonna be a bit. Okay. Prepare yourselves. There is um. Some ID cards with photos coming up. I'll do it in chronological order, starting from youngest. I believe that was okay. It's like this. Okay, so this is my this is my bus card from uh, primary school. You need to have one of these to get on the bus. So yeah, I know I'm, it looks like I'm covering my name. It's as if that wasn't already public knowledge, but I, think, I don't want you to know which bus number I was on. <laughs> so I had that, and the next was high school in New Zealand. And just that's what I look like there. Oh my god. Yeah, that's me. Look at that hair. <laughs> and then I think I definitely looked coolest there. Then it gets kind of downhill in university or tertiary education. Let me just hide some stuff again. Oh no. Oh no, what has happened here? Sharp. Sharpen. Sharpen. Part of me doesn't want it to sharpen, so this is actually good. Oh well. But is it because it's like realizing there it there it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Blender years, I'd say, for sure. <laughs> Gregor awkward, awkward ski. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, what else I got here? Couple of, couple of CDs here. Uh, oh, here are some of my fake PS2 games. So. Sure, it's Statue of Limitations, right? I can't get in trouble for this. But, uh... Oh, before I show that... Oh, Cortez G, yes, yes, yes. Was that photo the base for... Yes, you're right. Was that photo the base for this? Um... Yeah, my old DeviantArt picture thing is basically that. I I'm not even sure. It could be that exact photo, but that hairstyle, see what I've done? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Thing is, I'm pretty sure Justin Bieber is rocking hairstyle like that. So, in a way, I was the original Justin Bieber until he copied me. It's like an odd one's out situation all over again. <laughs> I was ahead of my time. But yeah, excellent fine court, Deji. That's exactly what that is. All right, here's some PS2 games. Boom! Red Faction 2 for DVD Game 2. My favorite console. Um, we also have, I don't think I've ever played this game. Maybe it didn't work. W2C Extreme 2. I don't know what that is. You can't really tell in the, in the stream, in, in, in the camera, but this is like a very JPEG-y picture here. Uh, pretty sure this is not real. Oh my god, see-through. I can actually see through this thing. Can you see through this thing? Oh, okay, that doesn't make any sense because you see reflection. But, um... I like how <laughs> around the edge here, they've got a bit of a copyright not intended situation thing going on. It says, this DVD is for private home use only. It is not licensed for any other, all other right reserved. Unauthorized public performance, broadcasting, or copying is a violation of applicable laws. I think I'm breaking the law by broadcasting the DVD itself. <laughs> all right, what else we got here? We got Virtua Fighter 4. Ooh, got that one. Pretty cool shininess, shiny effect. Reminds me of like a special Pokemon card. There you go, this, this is pretty cool. Actually, I saw, I saw this game being uh, talked about on the games subreddit just today, actually. Lord of the Rings, The Return... Oh wait, no, not this one. It was the Two Towers one that was on, the, on Reddit. But The Return of the King is the sequel to that one, I think. Um, but yes, this is also a pirated one. Uh, DVD games. Also, I don't know if... You, 
<laughs> I, I've never noticed this before, but look at this. The fine print here. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, uh, come on. Yep. The Lord of the Rings return space to the king. <laughs> the Interactive game, 2002. Yeah, I love how they still preserve the, the trademarks and rights reserved. All, and EA Games logo are trademarks of Electronic Arts. Misspelled. <laughs> oh! I'm noticing there's a little bit of a couple of followers here. Aeolian, thank you very much for following. As well as another follower, I think. I'm a pedo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got me there. You got me there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Romanian vampire. <laughs> Thank you for the resub. <laughs> Four months in a row. Thank you. <laughs> Trolled epic sound. All right, what's next? We got this undescripted uh, collection of discs. What's in here? What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Chinese painting step by step. Disc three. Disc. There's a lot of. A lot of. What is this? Forty dollars. Oh my god. Say it ain't. Please, mom. Please tell me you didn't spend forty dollars on this set of Chinese painting step by step discs. My mom. My mom got went through a phase of painting like bamboo on like rice paper or something. You're pretty good at it. Um, but I guess I guess this was her tutorial. Hey, it's the DVDs you bought from Matrix, guys. <laughs> yeah, I should return them. And uh, what's this? Another just nondescript one. I don't know what this is. I don't even have a disk drive to check it out. So, yep. Also, it's broken. <laughs> I don't have high hopes for whatever this was. And then we got something that just says health intel, so maybe I should not let that be taken. Anything else? Nope, that's it. That's the only disc. And all right, that's it for the, for the, for the discs that I have here, the random collection of discs. All right. Then I got a couple of these throwaway books that I must have got for like my birthday or Christmas or something for my parents. Um, Sign Spotting from Lonely Planet. It is like, it's basically a bunch of memes. Like, funny signs. Um, what a waste of paper. <laughs> oh, what the hell is this? And, all right, and this is a random photo of a cat biting its own leg. It's an actual photo. I don't know why this is in here. Okay. Strange, <laughs> maybe it's a bookmark? I don't know. But, uh, that's that. And then it was so popular that there's actually a second one that I also have. My god, trees were killed for this. Any other cat photo in here? No. But, I mean, it's just this kind of... Arch wedgie, six dollars. Yeah. I mean, this would be great if we didn't have the internet. I'm just saying. But this stuff has become really obsolete. I can't believe stuff like this is still being made. Anyway. <clears throat> what else we got? What else we got here? Oh, this thing is pretty cool. Right? Look at this thing. Pretty cool. You're like, what is this? It's silly. What, what's going on? Oh. It's like a sand timer, but instead of sand, it's like, I don't know, multicolored jizz. It's like the, the pride version of a sand timer. <laughs> it's really cool, though. I'm surprised it's still liquid. And like bubbles come up on the top. And then you just like, you just keep it like this, and uh, eventually it uh, fills one side. Neat. But pointless. But yeah, pretty cool. Vicious Fluid Timer, is that what it's called? Yeah, something like that, Chamamp? Nice. The jizz makes it the pride version. No, but not just that, Dak. The, it's the rainbow as well. Oh, it's not vicious. Oh, oh, you're just saying, oh, it's just, it's just a, a, a viscous. Oh, okay. I, 
I have no idea what that even is. Where's my... What the hell's this song? I just realized my... I forgot to bring in my glass of water. Oh well. Whatever. Um, what else we have here? Okay, we got a... Uh... Pretty sick, uh... Parker fountain pen. Very cool. Metal. This was actually, I used to use this in primary school. Uh, fountain pens were all the rage in primary school. Everyone had a Parker pen, but nobody had a Parker pen as shiny as this one. This one is metal. Everyone else's one was like metal in the top and then just plastic and everything else. But I had this metal one. But it was so slippery, it kept falling out of my hand. <laughs> it's just so smooth. But um, yeah, neat. Does this still have ink? Ah, oh, no, nothing. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, also it's a bit, I don't know if you can tell, but the, the nib is bent, so it's kind of worthless now. Oh well. Hey, Flint Bane, thank you for the follow. What else we got here? Okay, we got the random, random New Zealand souvenir sign for your car. Kiwis. Next 1,200 kilometers. That's, uh, that's optimistic. Pretty sure they're dying out, aren't they? Aren't they? Also, what the hell? Australian icon product. <laughs> okay. Yikes. All oh, right, whatever. They're always stealing everything from New Zealand. Anyway, uh, what else we got here? We got. Okay, this is a bit of a collection here. Okay, this is... why is it so sticky? I don't know why it's so sticky, but oh, it's disgusting. So the next thing, it's a bit of a group. Group project. Uh, let me just. I don't want to make too much of a noise because they're, they're all metal and I don't want to make it shock the microphone. But let me just place them on the table and I'll show you them all at once. I can't show one of them though um, because it's a bit too lewd. But uh, I'll show you the other ones for now. I might tease the other one later. But look at this. 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 You're like, oh, what's. What's all this? What's all this then, huh? Um, you got like a domino looking thing. And you got a pig looking thing. And it's really, really sticky. Look at it. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know why it's so sticky, but it's, in it's incredibly sticky. Oh, oh, ah, yeah. Okay. You got this one. And then you got this one. I think it's a Singapore. Singapore, like, lion mermaid symbol. And then we have this one. Okay. And the thing is, if you haven't already guessed what these are, these are all lighters. Yes, they are lighters. You're right. You're all right. They are all lighters. I, for some reason, I think we were in Holly somewhere, and then I, a bunch of, like, markets were selling a bunch of lighters for a little cheap, and I was like, I want to start collecting lighters for some reason. And then you just... Yeah, I think there's like it's supposed to be a, an actual like neon light comes on as well, uh, but they all have different kind of ways of turning things on. So this one, you flip this thing over, and then you do it like that, which is kind of neat. Kind of interesting to see how many different like designs you can get out of a lighter. This one is basically just you turn that on. This one was a blowtorch actually. Um, the pig. I don't even want to touch this pig, but basically. You, you pull this thing down, and then there'll be two flames that come out of its nostrils, which is kind of funny, and you fill it up in the butt. That's how you fill up the slider. But again, I have no idea why it's so sticky. This one, satisfying. It's just like a domino-looking thing, but... Again, it's just... Oh, fine. Still has got a little bit of juice in there. But yeah. Cool. And then the last one, again, I can't... Can't show you everything because it's a bit too graphic. But I can show you this. Huh? Huh? Sexy. And if you're curious about the, what the head looks like, uh, it looks like. Yes, it's a gun. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Um, and I'm covering the bare breasts. And you do this, and it'll be like a blowtorch that comes out. But yeah, 
can't show you the can't show you the breasts because there are nipples on it. Funny thing is though, I can show you this part. If you if you flip it on the you flip it on the side here, there's a third breast. It's kind of weird because it has to have a little bit so that you can see two on one side and then you see the other two. But then the, if you look down the middle, you just see this third one. But I mean, you can I can show this because I mean that doesn't look like anything. So whatever. Okay. Anyway, let's just get rid of this crap. Ugh, sticky. So sticky. Uh, what else we got? Nice little, very tacky looking treasure chest looking thing. What's in here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Treasure! Pokemon cards. So these aren't my, this is just like a random pack that I bought on a whim at a, at a Armageddon, which is like our E3. This is like, I don't know, 10 years ago. I bought one, a couple packs, just cause like, oh, you know, it'd be kind of fun to buy Pokemon cards again. Am I showing you the back? I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, let me just, cool. Shiny, shiny Sandshrew. Nice. Uh, and then, oh, this is pretty cool though. Half a card, but it's like full, full uh, holographic. I actually thought it was kind of valuable. The thing is, my friend and I both bought booster packs, and I got the bottom half, and he got the top half, which is kind of cool. But um, I think I had a look to see how valuable how valuable it was online. I don't think it's very so. Eh. I should have let him buy this one off me. <laughs> but anyways, enough of that. Um, beneath the Pokemon cards, there was something else in this in this treasure chest. Actual treasure. Kind of cool. Uh, this is some coins I found. I don't know. There's this coin, like Rome. I don't know. Eh. I was I was like on the beach one day and I just happened to see like a bunch of these old coins. But that's kind of cool. Uh, this one is. England or something? I don't know. Oh, I'm all shaky here. What is it? Can you see this? Yeah, England. I don't know. Oh, and then this one's kind of interesting. It's like a diamond. Like a diamond uh, coin. Oh, my hand is so shaky. There you go. Misprint as well. Yeah. Cool. But, uh, yeah, no, yeah, it's just coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and a couple of gold ones, too. Polish this one off. Ooh. Is it going to focus? No. No. Eh, whatever. <laughs> but the thing is, I was actually kind of hoping that more people would be like, oh my god, you found these coins? You, you're sitting on a- these should belong in a museum. You struck gold, literally. But actually, they're fake coins, so... <laughs> so much- so much for that joke! I actually have to... <laughs> I actually was kind of clever because, um, I covered- there's like this noticeable, like... Look at that, WRL. See that? That kind of breaks the illusion. I had to cover that up when I showed you. But no one cared, so... <laughs> anyway... <laughs> But yeah, this is like some souvenir coins. Who the hell, the hell knows? But another cool thing is these little figurines. These things are kind of cool. They're metal figurines. I don't know. They're not Warhammer. You'll never guess where I got these things from. My god, this focus thing. I have to hide my face. I have to hide my face. Oh, I know how to do it. I think people do it like this. No, that doesn't work. I've seen people do this to make it work. But anyway, screw it, whatever. Um, I got a whole bunch of these different ones. And I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, these all came from uh, Kinder Eggs. Kinder Surprises. Isn't that crazy? These like metal... I, I mean, I think so. I, I can't remember now, but I think they're from metal and they feel really like weighty and detailed. Like they're better looking than that Bioshock collector's thing I got. I'm pretty sure 
It came from Kinder Eggs. Um, now it's just like random plastic paper crap. Yeah, Kinder Egg things look... Kinder Surprises is terrible now, but... They do come from Kinder Eggs. I had some too. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm not crazy then. Ben and thank you. But yeah, no, that's pretty cool. Um, I wonder if it's valuable. I'm not sure. Probably not. Also, I got this... This cool rock that I, that I found. Pretty cool. It's a little scratchy-like. But, um... Check this out. Look how strong I am. Oh my god! Loading artist stronger than the Hulk. The power to squish a rock. It's actually pretty cool. It's um I like to trick my friends. I like I'll put this I'll put this around or something, I'll put it on a shelf or I'll put it in the garden or something like that. And I'll be like, oh look at this rock, and I'll just like throw it at them. <laughs> <laughs> and just like completely destroy our friendship for like half a second. Um, always good fun. Yeah, fake rock. Always useful. Anyway, and I think that's it for that box. Yes, that's it for that box. But I do have another box here. Not as much. Oh, there's some stuff. There's some stuff. There's some big stuff in there. Um, also some more games and things, but, uh, let's open that box as well, shall we? But first, let me just take a two minute break. I need to get that glass of water because my throat is on fire. <gasps> and, um, yeah, just gonna get some water. I'll be back in like two minutes to open up the other box and then I'll be a wrap. Also, hey, Erza and Chris Carr, hello. Excellent. Um... So I'll be right back. One second. I'm just going to pause, pause, pause. And I'll see you in two minutes. Let's be back soon. All right, welcome back. Thank you very much for waiting. Hello, 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 hello. I believe someone is going. Uh, Stroik, you're off. All right, have a good night, Stroik. Take care. Um, and what is this? Dry rays go. I found the perfect lighter for Gregor's collection. That's <laughs> personal. I don't. I don't collect lighters. Just FYI, it was like a, it was like a brief, momentary uh, lapse in judgment. But uh, let's see what we got here. Wait, does this work? Hmm? Hmm? Why is this not working? Hold on. Copy. Paste. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. Pretty cool, though. Except for what looks like a human nail on the other one. But yeah. Alright. Don't send me lighters! I don't think that's even allowed. <laughs> so, okay. I, uh, let's see. Oh. I think my Nokia just died. Just made a sound. Fire artist, you're off to? Alrighty, catch you later. Have a good night. Yeah, now we're, we're not gonna be uh, streaming for too much longer, but there is just one more box I'd like to get done here. Big stuff in here, big stuff. Starting with. Mm, starting with. Can tune them. Ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Poof! World of Warcraft Burning Crusade Collector's Edition. I mean, I know I said I'd stop buying Collector's Edition of games, but. Uh, I still had a soft spot for MMORPGs. So, um... Big and beefy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, gotta hide my serial key. Don't steal my Burning Crusade. Um... Special edition. Uh, what's this? Behind the scenes DVD. I never actually used or opened this. And it comes with a pack of... A pack of cards. Do people still play the World of Warcraft cards game? Is that even a thing? Or is that does that connect to Hearthstone? I don't even know. And then, and then yeah, disc. Again, I don't want to reveal my serial key. I mean, not that it really matters because I'm pretty sure I've used the serial key. So, but anyway, that's World of Warcraft. Uh, Burning Crusade. Big tomb of a box. Nice box. Gotta give him credit for the box. 
You may want to open those cards. Or is it more valuable if they're not open? Who knows? You can use the CD key to get your whole account. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully I didn't reveal it then. If you have a scratch of card, it could be worth a fucking bundle. Bundle of what? Money? Dang. Okay, well... Alright, so is it worth opening then? I guess so. Okay, and speaking of MMORPG Collector's Editions, let's go from one of the best MMORPGs, arguably, yes, to one of the most disappointing. Age of Conan! It opens like a book. Uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Age of Conan. Comes with this cool map, which is like fake leather. Just, it's just, it's just, what's the point of this thing? It, you can't even read, you can't even read the text. Look, it's, it's actually making my camera freak out because there's just so much detail. Uh, your free stream froze? Wait, is it? Did, did this just break the stream? Age of Conan, isn't this one kind of recent? No, 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 I think you're thinking of Conan Exiles, Benzine. That's a different game. Age of Conan is old. Um, I liked it for a bit. There is some nudity, uh, which is cool. Discs. Games for Windows discs. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but it was pretty clear that they only really finished the first part of the game because that was the only part with, that actually had voice acting and then after that i think the quality kind of drops and the voice acting stops and yada 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 bit of a shame but i think i think this came with like a pretty sweet art book that's like the main reason why i even bought these things because it came with a cool art book uh, yeah 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 Um, should we open those World of Warcraft cards? I always just assume that they're more valuable if it wasn't opened. Wait, is it just closed? Oh yeah, I accidentally closed the turn. Uh, I always assume that the cards are more valuable if they're not open, but then... I'm not sure if it really counts if it's one of these, like, see-through packs, you know? Can't tell. Are you really gonna sell them anyway? I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I'm probably just gonna... Wait until I die, and then whoever is in charge of throwing out all my stuff will just throw it out. So, um... I don't know, I guess let's just open them. Screw it, huh? Screw it. I have no idea what any of this stuff is worth, if at all. So let's just... see. <clears throat> World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade, Collector's Edition, uh, Card Pack, Thingy-Majiggy. It looks bent. It is a slightly bent, but it's good. I mean, you know, curved screens is you pay a fine price for curved screens. You pay a fine price for curved cards. It's more immersive. Are the alerts are paused. Don't know if that's normal. Oh, yeah, I think I paused them just because, like, I uh, didn't want interruptions with my nostalgic unboxing. Also, because there's no alerts anyway. Yeah, no, there's no alerts anyway. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep pausing it. Um, okay, let's see. Here. This is a really hard bag to open. Here we go. World of Warcraft Burning Crusade Collector's Edition car. God, God damn it. Hold on. Scissors. Burning, burning, burning Crusade, Warcraft, Collector's Edition cards. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The first thing is shiny. Very good. Oh. Instructions. Shiny. Oh. Shiny blue man with a weird collar. I don't know. Oh, shiny evil elf looking thing. And that's it. That's it. Oh, oh the backs have something else. 
effects of these things. All right, cool. How, how, am I a millionaire or a billionaire now? I need to tell me. I just I can't I can't live in suspense. <laughs> oh man, oh man. A quadri billionaire. Nice. And come a code. Hold that thought. Actually, Marie. Going nuts on the gift subs. One more gift sub. This time to come a code. The 49th. Nice. Thank you very much, Marie. Too nice of you. And Comico, congrats. The Skyrise. Plot twist. By opening the cards, they have lost 90% of their value. Ha! <laughs> oh, God. Okay, whatever. Put this away now. <clears throat> okay, now, what do we have next? What do we have next? Let's see. I have a book. Three books. Uh, oh, three books here. Okay, let me just okay. Let me just show what the books are first, and then talk about them. I have in my collection Islam. Uh, the what's this called? The Dalai Lama artist. Oh, Salvador Dali. It says on the side here. Salvador Dali. And then we have a hundred cities of the world, a journey through the most fascinating cities uh, around the globe. Of the what? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, that they're just like big, like coffee table books. It's got pictures, and <laughs> I've never looked at them for more than like five. I think I looked at them. I looked at them more in the store than I did after I purchased them. The reason I have these books is because they were crazy, crazy cheap. Because the bookstore was closing down, and I thought I would get a bunch of. Oh, this that, by the way, this is the architecture. This is Islamic architecture, by the way, not just like a condensed version of the Quran or anything like that. Um, because I thought I'd be like a concept artist, and concept artists need to have a lot of reference, and like I thought you know it's pretty cool to have all this reference. I mean you know like if you look at this. I gotta make the dust three for for Counter Strike. Boom! Like I can look at these like archways and stuff. You know, that's that was my thinking process, but never really got anywhere. And now these books are just basically really heavy wastes of space. <laughs> um, that even though they were super cheap, still was a bit of a waste of money. Anyway, this is years and years ago. Uh, you should leave those in the bathroom for when someone's taking a huge dump. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they do. They do look a bit like uh, toilet, uh, toilet books. By the way, I hate the. I hate that there's to there's books in toilets. My parents have like magazines and and books in their in their bathroom. I think it's disgusting. I never want to touch those books. Anyway, anyway, there's some books there. Wait, why did I pause the music? Oh, that was the drum roll. That's right. Oh, we've heard the song now. Okay, let's go back. Oh no, I didn't pause the music. The music just finished. Okay, let's just go shuffle mode. And see what happens. Shuffle mode. No. No. Ah, here, this is fine. Nostalgic. Okay. What else we got? Okay, well... Okay, a lot of these are books. <laughs> this is actually a pretty good book. I got this from my, my university tertiary education thing. The Animator's Survival Kit. Useful for our emotes that we have to do. Animated emotes. I wonder if they have an emote section. In this book, maybe, but uh, apparently this is a really good uh, animation book. I hear good things. Would like to read it one day. Whoa, jeez, look at the look at the rack on that one. Man, this combined with this. Now, then we're talking, huh? All right. And a hundred wonders of the world. <laughs> ah, don't judge me. They were cheap. They were really cheap. Cool. Alright, maybe I could donate that to a library or something. Anyways, let's get to something a bit more interesting. Um, this book. Mm -hmm. Very curious. Very curious. Acid-free cartridge paper. What could it be? You'll never guess. But... Bet you weren't expecting that. It's my Garfield book. Um, 
I don't know if people if people can see it. I've written it in pencil here. Garfield. Garfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I see. See, there it is in pencil. Uh, and this is where I would draw my Garfields. So that was um, 97, right? This Garfield eating his food. And then more 97 art. Odie lunch. There's Odie. As uh, Garfield. He's spaghetti for some reason. I the wrong kind of an Italian dish, but whatever. Uh, and choking normal with a really long arm. Um, and then, yeah, so some more, some more classics. So, yeah, more 97. Garfield dancing, cat dancing on the, on the fence. And then, hey, Mondays. And then, oh, liar to the weight scale. Classic Garfield tropes. And, um, you have so much be redeemable stuff with those books. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't, I, I can't, uh, I, there's, there's not, I mean, if it was a filled book, then yes, but there's not that many pages. Don't be fooled. There's, most of this is blank. <laughs> Your Radio Jasper. Jasper, welcome back. Hello again. 26 months. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome back. How you doing? Yes, if, if, there, if there was like a bunch of pages here, then that would definitely be a good B redemption reward thing. But I'm just for now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blaze through it, huh? More 97 art. Hee <laughs> hee Look at buff. <laughs> look at, look at buff, uh, Pookie. Damn, look at that arm. And then, oh, the, the, that's a couch tipped over. I think I should go on a diet. And then, what's this? 97. Opening a fridge and. Ew! E U U. Not even a W. Weird. Uh, Benzie, not only this one, but the two printed memes ones, and the cheap big books as well. Oh, I see. Ah, maybe, maybe. We do have more um, uh, Garfield joke books from Yuko. Actually, uh, we only went through like one of them. Did we even finish that one? No, we haven't even finished the insults one. But we have more of that. It's on my shelf somewhere. But yeah, perhaps. I don't think those big books, like Islamic architecture and wonders of the world and stuff, I think it's not as interesting <laughs> as you might think. Anyway, let's, let's play. This is still 97, by the way. We gotta get through this. Wolf, help, at his dream of lasagna. Which one shall I do first? Uh, running from a B, classic. Garfield's point of view. Veu. <laughs> okay. All right. And then, okay, then, okay, last, last 97 page here. Um, really weird looking Garfield designs, and I don't know what the fuck's going on here. <laughs> there he is, uh, and then, look at this. Look at this, 1999. So two years later, I drew this, and then 2000 was this. 2000 again. 2002? Oh, wrong page. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, 2001. So forget about 2002 for a second. 2003. 2004. 2006. 2008. Wow, these ears suck. Um, and then what else we got here? 2019. And I think that was it. That's, that, that's the last one. So I think we know what has to happen now. I think I think we have to do 2021. Yes, it's been two years. So uh, let's do this. Actually, hold on. Do a little bit of a point of view shot. Okay. I'm I'm gonna put it in my mouth. And uh, that explains my weird sounds that you'll hear from me. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. 
Ага. Ага. Ау! 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 Ау, я Джулин!
This is World of Warcraft again. Battle chest. Yeah, so this comes with Burning Crusade and the original. Uh, I think I got this because I forget why. I made a second account for some reason, and this was on sale or something. I forget why. I don't know. I don't know why I have two accounts for World of Warcraft. Not sure. There was some reason. Maybe I couldn't get into my original one. Or something. I don't know. Who the hell knows? What a pointless waste of, waste of money and time. But then we have this one, which is a bit more interesting. It is the, uh, boom! Diablo battle chest. Uh... Like Diablo 2, you got the Lord of Destruction expansion set, and you also have Diablo 1. Cool. Very cool. Haven't finished it. I don't think I even... I played Diablo 1 by chance. I think when some random person gave me the disc with Diablo 1. I got not very far, but... But, uh, but yeah. I think I, I bought these games because I... I had friends back then that, uh... Wanted to play it, and I'm like, oh, I'll play it with you guys. So. But yeah, I, I, that's it. I, I'm, it's all coming back to me now. But, and I didn't like it so much because my friend was one of those people that was better at the game than I was. Like, they were further. And so they just wanted to rush me through everything to, like, get me to that level. Which, I mean, on the one hand, I do appreciate that you helped me out by rushing me through the dungeons and stuff to get me to the boss and, and but good loot and all that stuff but it ruins the experience yes like if you're not if it's not your first time playing i mean if, if it's your first time playing and you're just being rushed through it, it kind of uh yeah it ruins it a little bit so didn't get too into it but eh, whatever i did give it a shot though single player back in the day a long time ago I didn't get, I didn't finish it. I got, I got up to the, I got up to like, what was it? Dial of two spoilers, but was it like, uh, like limbo or was it like heaven? I don't even know what the hell's going on. I honestly don't know what the storyline is, but it was a, it was a, the act where it's like black space in the background and it was like column and pillars and stuff. What was that? What was that? Two dorks, one brush. Raiding with 31 people. Two dorks, one brush. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome everyone. Well, I've I've got I've got the perfect thing for you. Two dogs from Brush. You have joined us at the perfect stream. Welcome. Streaming some Warhammer. Let me show you something. Let me show you some nightmare fuel. All right. Uh, hold the phone. Hold the one second. Let me let me show you something that you're gonna you're gonna love. Okay. Check this out. I'll pause the alerts for a second. <laughs> do you like? Do you like this uh, paint job? Don't worry, I didn't do this. This is why. This is how it came in the Bioshock Collector's Edition. Huh? You like? You like what you see? Good details here, huh? <laughs> Wait. Let it focus. Let it focus on this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you must be dying inside. Uh, beautiful, you didn't paint it? No, I didn't paint it. You can, you can tear it apart. This is... I'm sure you must be... That looks like your handiwork? Oh, snap! <laughs> uh, that is a good burn, because it's also true. If I were to paint it, it would look even worse than this, if I'm being honest. Um, the statue itself, the metal is kind of cool, but the paint job kind of lets it down. Uh, I'd be curious to see what, what your take on it would be. Uh, I'm sure you do a way better job than whatever this is, but, but yeah, just thought, just thought I would, <laughs> just thought I would try and make you cringe a little bit. But yeah, also ni nice little dust. That's not, that's not detail in the texture, that's just dust. Yeah, it's been sitting in a box. Ah, you should repaint it. <laughs> yeah, that's a real issue. Well, first of all, I'm not really into real paint and stuff. I mean, it looks cool. Huge respect to the people that can do it. But not me, I can't do it. Look at, look at my hand. Look at this. Do you think... Do you think, I can, you think I can paint intricate details? Look at that. Look at this. Look at that. No way. 
I got the tremors. Ah. All right, anyway. Stop the coffee, man. I only had one coffee today. Um, I should have had a second one. But, eh. I've been shaky for a long time. Excellent. Hey, um, Silent Juggler, thank you for following, by the way. Hello. Stop the Coke, then. <laughs> Never! I'm addicted to Coca-Cola. Although I only have it with special occasions, like burgers and fries. And I don't have it every day. Despite there being, like, two boxes of it in my shelf right there. It's just cheaper to buy it in a box. I'm saving money. Anyway. I think on that note, despite being rated just three minutes ago, thank you again, by the way, to Two Dorks on Brush. Hope your stream went well. Uh, I think that might be a wrap. Coke or vanilla Coke? I'm, I'm all about that regular Coke. Uh, that's my favorite. I like cherry Coke, but you know what I don't like? <laughs> this is, this is going to remain on my shelf for the rest of my life. Raspberry Coke sucks. I don't like this at all. I keep, I keep trying to pass it off to, to friends and, and even strangers. Like, like, hey, do you want a drink? Do you want a Raspberry Coke? And then they're like, do you have normal? I'm like, oh, take the Raspberry Coke. I don't want it anymore. I regret buying it. They made a whole deal about it. Ooh, raspberry Coke's back. Raspberry Coke. The thing is, I kind of like Raspberry and Coke together, but that... Tastes weird. Their version. Um, cherry Coke's better, but anyway. <laughs> I am advertising Coca-Cola far too much for free <laughs> right now. So uh, I gotta say as well, Coke's bad. Drink some water. That's what you want. Water's my sponsor. Mm. Silent Juggler. Love the comics? Hey, well, thank you very much. Unfortunately, there isn't a comic uh, today, this week. Unless I can think of something, which I'm not going to be able to. Last week, I couldn't think of anything either. Oh, man. Let me pause the music for a second. Yeah. Um, but I definitely, I didn't want to, I didn't want this week to be another week of no streams either. Um, especially because, like, the birthday stream's coming up. And I sense there might be something. I mean, I saw in the announcements that there is something being planned. So I don't want to be, like... <laughs> AF AFK for this whole week again. And I also missed you guys, and I missed streaming, despite not having a comic idea. And I was a bit torn. It's like, do I even start streaming if I still don't have a comic idea? Ugh. But uh, I'm glad I did in the end anyway. Uh, if you need to be AFK, BFK. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty AFK. There, there was like there was a day or two that I didn't even turn on the computer. I mean, I was on my phone, so I guess it doesn't really count. But it's, it is some, it's something. Uh, when is the birthday stream? So not tomorrow. Tomorrow's probably going to be another stream like this. Pretty chill. Do some birthday cakes. Open up some more boxes of uh, childhood stuff. And then the day after that is the birthday stream, which is also going to be pretty chill. Just chatting kind of stuff. We'll see. I was unboxing some stuff. I got... I got um, I'm, I have at least one thing from, from one of you to open on the birthday stream. I think there's another thing on my P.O. box, so looking forward to that. But yeah, that won't be tomorrow, but the day after that. And uh, let's see, let's see... Oh, Anria! Anria, we had a question in the feedback Discord about the Something Missing comic. It was If it was intentional or not? Because I think it's genius if it was. Oh yeah, I saw that this, this morning, actually. You found a spelling mistake in an ancient comic. Um, from 2011, I'm pretty sure that was. Well, let me just move my, let me just move my keyboard here so I can type. So, thing you found was, hold on. Also, thank you for the follow to, to Anna's. Thank you for the follow. Uh, 2011, January. This is like one of the first comics. So, in the sixth panel. But it is noticeable and hopefully memorable too. Noticeable, I had not noticed that I misspelled it, which is apparently a genius move. So I will say that was intentional. 
So thank you for noticing. You were the first person to notice. I've been waiting this entire... T I've been waiting 10 years. Over 10 years for someone to notice it. And uh, you finally... Someone finally has. So congratulations, Anria, for noticing my geniusness. <laughs> thank you very much. Also, Benzine, what is this web browser? Oh, this is Firefox. Um, it's It's got some crazy theme going on. It's one of the default themes. But I think there's like light theme, dark theme, and then there's like crazy theme. I forget what the name is, but that's what I've got going on. Uh, kind of fitting for Twitch, very purple. But uh, yeah, I use Firefox for my stream, stream browser. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, yeah, something missing. Yeah, the, the E was missing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Very, very smart for me. Thank you very much. <sighs> oh, and it's also very fitting on my dark theme for... Oh, that, that's true, SuperText. It fits very well for the Loading Artist dark theme. The purple, orange, purple... Oh, it's, it fits together so beautifully. Definitely, you're totally right. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, on that note, I think I should wrap the stream up. But, uh, but yeah. Thank you again very much for all of your patience. I do appreciate it. I do feel bad to not be making a comic last week or this week. Uh, uh, but I do appreciate all the messages of, of saying it's fine to take a break and encouraging to take a break and things like this. So I do appreciate that. Though I still feel pretty bad. <laughs> and what's even worse is that it's like, oh, it, I'll take a break to 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 freshen up, to refresh, and I'll come back strong. And then it's like, oh god, whatever I come back with has to be good. So it's kind of like I'm in a bit of a loop, a bad cycle here. The longer I the longer I take a break from comics, the more I feel like the first thing I come back with has to be good. Anyway, that's just one of the one of the things on my mind recently. Um, but anyway. Not to end on a down and downer note or anything. Plenty more time to 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 have more downer notes in tomorrow's stream as well. And uh, yeah, that'll be happening. And I can't do the math, but tomorrow, twenty hours from now, give or take, twenty one hours from now. Yes. <sighs> Don't put pressure on yourself. Take as much time as you need. We'll be there and appreciate you. Oh, well, thank you, Benzine. It's gonna take a break. We prefer you healthy. Thank you, Nick Defee. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. All right. And thank you again for the crazy support at the beginning of the stream as well, the hype train and all that. <laughs> you appreciate it. But uh, but yes. Oh, my stomach is growling. It's time for Dusk Art to resub for three months here. First silver half for you. Thanks for all the inspiration. No worries. No, you're welcome. Thank you very much for all the support. Appreciate that. Nice exchange. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, and, um, yeah, I think it's lunchtime now. So, thanks again for watching. More birthday cakes to draw and boxes to unpack in tomorrow's stream. See you then. And for now, good bye. Wait, I haven't, I've not prepared for the outro whatsoever. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let me just refresh the curtains. Let me say thanks to the mods that were here helping out. I saw Super Tux, I saw Grins Pills, I saw Dak, I saw Corteggi, and I saw Cerissi as well. Thank you all for the, for the help. And um, let's get to the outro. Got to do the outro song. Here it is. There it is. Mute that. Show that. Ooh. Okay. Ooh wee. <laughs> Oh man, so many clicks, so many button presses. But yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um, not sure who to raid. Um, not sure who. Not sure who. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, maybe I do. 
Yeah, maybe actually, uh, yeah, I think I, I think I know some. Okay, I think I think I have some of the raid. Yes, yes, yes. I think we've raided them once before. And we'll show them again. Some loading artists love, and uh, of course, again, you can follow me on Twitter. Not that I tweet. You can follow me on Instagram. Not that I post. You can follow me on Facebook. Not that I check it out. I also have a Tumblr that I forget, uh, and uh, of course. Two YouTube channels as well. <laughs> so check that out. One's for videos and one's for VODs. Check all of that out. Good stuff. Good stuff. There's also a Patreon if you want to encourage uh, an output of zero comics. That's good. <laughs> if you want to do that. Uh, there is a bonus panel I could draw. I do have a sketch for that. Maybe I'll do that on the Discord sometime. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. See you tomorrow's stream.